Hi everybody, good afternoon. This is Janice from Timeless Fluid Art. How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm gonna do a little flower pour on my wood. It's a 10 by 10. So I love doing it on the wood here. It's just so much cooler, it's neater. I have a few colors today. This is the light yellow green by Liquitex Basics. And then I have I made a pink out of uh, red and white, a carmine red, which is Amsterdam, and uh, Liquitex white. And then I have dioxazine purple. This is a really cool color. It's also Liquitex. And then I have a violet over here. This is also Liquitex. So everything's Liquitex except the pink, which is a combination of Amsterdam. Uh, my accelerator is white. Reason why I call it that, it's made differently from the regular uh, activator everybody uses. So it's my accelerator. So first things first, base coat. Now mind you, the, the um, pouring medium I used today was uh, bare enamel, which by the way is a lot thicker than I, what I've been used to, so I'm like, oh my god, I don't know how this is going to come out. Uh, it's thicker. I've used three ounces of that. Uh, the ones with the V, this is a J on it, if you can see the J. That means I used the varnish of Jasana. And if it's a V, I used um, Varathane uh, varnish. So it's a combination of both. I'll see which one works best. And polyacrylic, polyacrylic, let me show you this one. Oopsie, polyacrylic. So that's all mixed together to make the pouring medium. Yeah, the pouring medium is uh, one ounce of pouring medium to a half ounce of paint. My cell accelerator is a mixture of um, Amsterdam white, three ounces of Floetrol, one ounce of, of the white, and one tablespoon of, which I was using uh, Minwax, but I ran out, so I'm using the Varathane, which is also a pre-stain conditioner. So let's see how this all works. I have no idea because I've never used this type of paint altogether, so I'll lay down my base coat first, do my little pillow, and this is Glidden House Paint Interior. Interior. Okay, I'm gonna first lay down. Um, let me see. I think I'll do the green first. I'm gonna do the light green. I have no idea what the light green. Let me see. In my, I use a color wheel, which is very handy. So if I go to the violet and I put. Um, well, there's really no way I could do light green. So let me go green and do purple, which will be a red and red color with the green will give me, a, yeah, that might work. It's gonna be a little like, I don't know what, brownish color. All right, first things first, put that one down. Then I'll use a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Okay. And then, then I think I'll put the rose. Well, I made it rose. It's a combination of carmine and what you call it, and white. A little bit of purple. You know, I've got some gold over here. I'm gonna put a little bit of gold, also. This is very thick, so I don't even, I can't even promise it's going to work. I have no clue whatsoever. Let me get a stick here. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is 24 karat gold. And now I have like 13 colors that I got over here. Or 14, I, I lost track. And then my cell activator. Okay. 
Now I gotta blow it from the inner inside to make my little flower. So let's see if I can keep it off my clothes. I guess I could put my uh I'll put my apron on this time. Usually I just forget. And uh it doesn't matter. I have these clothes are all for paint. So it's not a biggie. I'm not gonna strap it, I'm just gonna keep it. I guess I'll tie it. What the heck? You talk to me into it, people. I'm gonna get this more of a center. Okay, here goes nothing. I'll start here first. Man, it's thick paint. I don't see a damn cell. Let me get a straw. Might be better with a straw. I'm not sure. <sighs> Nothing, guys. See what happens here. I'll let that go to center. You would think with flow trial I would get some kind of cells, but not a darn cell. I've had to use all different materials, and I'm not liking it so much. Well, I've got the outline which I love for around the flower leaves or petals which I love that. Okay, I'm gonna get this purple off here. Just gotta dip and wipe, comes right out. Now let me spread my wealth here. I'll have to still lay more paint, I'm sure. real dud. I should just go to bed. <laughs> All this paint I mix for no avail. Well, there might be hope. Might spread out beautifully. I don't know. Never used all this together, so... My min wax that I normally put with the accelerator was no good. Oh my god, it was like clumpy on the on the other side. It was terrible. I mean, we're we're talking gross. Let me see if I can spread some of this stuff now. Can't even promise this is gonna even be good. starting to go. It's got to get all together. My center's got to come back and and work with me here. Now I love making pretty flowers, don't get me wrong. I prefer it over the bloom. Well, I could almost look like an iris. Hmm. Okay, let me go this way. I don't know if you can see this. Did I even press record? Oh, yes, I did. I think I did. Let me double check. Oh, yeah. I've had it where I totally forgot. So, that's how my brain is lately. Oh, center's still not moving with it. It's going to have to join up pretty soon here. Let me go that way, get that covered here. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way. 
Can't believe not a cell to be seen. Which, mind you, I don't mind at all. But now I don't know what made this do this. I don't have a clue. Hmm. I tell you, I just can't use different things. Get this corner. Even though it's already there, the paint, I just don't want it to be thicker one section, not the other. Okay, I'm going to go back down this way. Hmm. It's a beautiful flower. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I may have enough to put a stimp right there. Now I'm getting a couple cells right there, and I really don't want them there, so let me try and do a little magic here and get rid of them. Oh man, I hate when I do that. change the leaf here. I have rounds coming tomorrow. I can't wait. That is a beautiful flower, I have to say. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I am very pleased with it. So now I have a total made up little thing. I don't like this though. Now let me put a stem Take my gloves off. Whoa. You saw that, huh? Well, this is turning out better than I thought, so let me get some. I think I'll use my dark green over here. And I have to really be very careful dropping this on. Um, hmm. Make a little stem right here. It's a little thicker. Then put a little bit of green here and here if I can get it going. Then I need a little highlight for my stem, so I use a little bit of yellow green.
I'm making um, country fried steak tonight, not from scratch. I am making it with um, this, let me get some this here, go, go here. It's frozen already, but I make my own gravy and it comes out delicious. Man, I probably should use a paintbrush, but I'm not going to. I'm afraid I'll screw it up. I'm a fine artist, but this, this stuff does not work like regular paint. There we go. Much better. Okay, let me take it down, let you see. Uh, let me get rid of a couple little bubbles there. And in this particular instance, no bubbles. So in actuality, this is turning out gorgeous. And this will now be my own little flower recipe from me to use without having to be anybody else's. So there you go. I don't like to copy anyway, so here we go. Let me just get this here. I see some cells popping up. I don't know whether I should fire it. I don't think I will. I'm gonna leave it as is because it's absolutely gorgeous, so I'm very pleased with it. Let me take it down and look at it. Okay. 